Hello everyone, welcome to Slip Joint Sawyer. Today we're going to be taking a look at an old timer knife, and not just any old timer knife really, it's the 80T Senior Stockman, and this is one I picked up that is a USA model here in the UK, and even better than that, it is new old stock, so it's never been used, never been touched, it's absolutely immaculate as it would have come out of the factory. So we'll take a look at the box to start with. So here is the, the older style old timer box, you see you've got the Schrade cutlery built to last a lifetime. You've got a sharp idea written here. You've got old timer knives like granddad's On the side you've got proudly made in the USA and on the back you have here shaving sharp high carbon cutlery steel blades Unbreakable saw cut staglon handles Schrade limited lifetime warranty and you hear printed made and printed in the USA it's even the box is USA made Schrade Cutlery and their address there. Unfortunately, obviously they have they have gone out of business in the UK. They're still making knives, but um from China, things like that. And you've got the 8 OT in the barcode there. And then you've got 8 OT senior pocket knife on either end. And then inside the box as well was the original paperwork. So this is pretty amazing that all the this stuff has lasted this amount of time. But you can see here we have a personal message from Walter A. Gardiner, president of Imperial Schrade Corp. And I'll just sort of hold it here and you can pause it if you wish to read it, because there's quite a lot on there. But you can see he's got his signature down the bottom. Schrade Cutlery, old timer, pretty much the same sort of logos. Bit more information inside the leaflet there. About the limited lifetime warranty, what you can do, what you can't do, proper use and care, and so forth. And then there is actually the sheet still where you would sign off for that warranty. The product registration form on the front and the back and then here we have in the middle how to sharpen your knife the sort of the correct angle they would say how to do it where they're located in the US and there is a date down here of 1991 so I'm, I'm rough guesstimating that's roughly when this knife was produced and that's pretty cool because that's actually my birth year as well so there we go, original paperwork in the original box with the original knife. I think that's absolutely fantastic and even more unbelievable, I managed to pick this up in the UK. I did pick up a an, an USA made old time 80T a couple months back, but it was in sort of a used condition, the sheets were sort of worn down. I will give you a look at that a bit later on, but let's jump straight into the knife. So here it is, the 80T Senior Stockman, this is USA made of course out of New York. Of the Schrade Cutlery Company, one of the old timer brands. You've got the Hot Dog Old Timer Shield here. You do have brass pins on this saw cut Delrin handles. You can see you've got like the, the lighter creamy colour into the deep brown, and you can really see the saw cut ridges on this. Absolutely beautiful. You do have nickel silver bolsters either end, and it's the same story on the rear of the knife. You've got nickel silver brass pins and of course the middle one as most old timer knives is a little bit proud to hold the scales on and it's that central pin and I'm, what can I really say about the build quality of this you find me a gap in that and I and I will give you the knife there there is nothing it's absolutely immaculate immaculate the springs are flush the liners are flush everything is smooth this is a knife made the proper way how they used to be made this is one I've been looking for for a very long time and I'm really glad I've got it in my collection and this will be a safe queen for me. It's going to be sort of a time capsule so it'll be going back in the original box. All I'll do is lightly oil the blades uh, and the pivots just so it's protected and it'll be stored in the box then. I might bring it out to have a look at it every now and then but I'm going to save it um, and then I'll maybe sort of come back to it in years and years time and see, you know, like how my collection's grown. Do I still have the same sort of taste, that sort of thing. But we'll go ahead and take a look at the blades. So of course you have the main clip point blade. No half stop of course on the older knives. And you can see it has not been used. You've got the original factory grind, line, grind lines on there. Original factory edge. You do have the Schrade USA 80T on the tang stamp. And on the rear as well. You can see apart from my thumbprint there at the top. There is no wear at all on this blade absolutely immaculate condition nice long pull on there as well on the clip point blade 
very 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 subtle sort of swedging on the corner here just to round it over a little bit but other than that just a nice working blade a nice stock on there as well and then we have the sheep's foot blade again you can see this has not been used at all not even any wear on the tang from being opened and closed just this little bit here from the oil I've put on it you can see it factory grinds grind lines on the blade as well I mean there's not much I can say it's 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 a well, it is a brand new knife that's why they call it new old stock I just can't get over the fact I managed to find this in the UK over the moon with this purchase and then finally on the back you have the spay blade as you get again you can see factory grind lines factory blade grind as well you can really see those lines nice clean nail neck nice clean tangs just an absolutely wonderful find i'm really glad i've got this in the collection uh, yeah we'll take a look at some of the the measurements now of the knife so we'll start with the blades and then i'll do the overall length towards the end so the spade blade we're looking at a sort of total blade length of one two what's that two two and an eighth 2.2 inches and then a cutting edge we're looking at right on one one and three quarters and then the sheep's foot blade We are looking at a full blade length of one, two and a quarter, and then a cutting edge of one, just over one and three quarters. And then the main clip point blade. We have a full blade length of one, two, pretty much bang on three inches, and then a cutting edge of one, two, just over two and a half, what, 2.6, 2.7 inches there for that. So a very sort of UK legal knife. And then we have an overall sort of closed length. Yeah, it's bang on that sort of four inch. One, two, three, four, yeah, bang on that sort of four inch closed. So it's definitely within that sort of UK, UK legal limit. And it's one, unfortunately, well, it's not unfortunately, I, I won't be carrying this one. This is going to be, you know, the time capsule safe queen. But I do have the, uh, another of the USA made ones here, which I managed to pick up off Etsy as well a couple of months ago. This is the one I do carry. You can see this one does have sort of wear on it. It's got the patina, the pitting, still nice shined blades. And this one, seen a lot of use on that sheep's foot blade. I think if we just compare those interested to see the difference in the amount of wear I mean look how much use that sheep's foot blade used and this is why I love this one because someone's carried it cherished it and used it this one's got a lot of history I love them both exactly the same this one's a time capsule safe queen and this one's been used and cherished both are things I really look out for when I'm buying older knives but this is my sort of user this is what I'll be carrying today but yeah, really do love these knives and just an excellent find and one I'm really happy to have in my collection. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. This is my sort of review of the new old stock um, Old Timer 8 OT Senior Stockman. Please be sure to like, subscribe and ring that bell for notifications. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.